What's up guys, Black Horse and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2018 for the fourth stage of the Volta Ciclista a Catalunya between Lanars and La Molina, another mountain stage um, which sees Froome for, fav for favorite um, but if you haven't seen the previous episodes uh, then uh, go ahead and do so so that you will understand what's going on GC wise and um, yeah yesterday's stage was quite good for us so was uh, the second stage as well so yeah if you if you got some times on your hand go ahead and uh, and watch the stages you you won't regret it um but yeah today's stage one um all category climb two fast koms um so yeah we, I, I don't know if i'll send someone in the breakaway we'll see that in the stage so yeah without further ado let's just jump in and uh i'll see you uh, on the starting line right and uh the fourth stage is on its way the queen stage of the uh, Di Volta Ciclista a Catalunya, uh, according to the game, and uh, I mean, according to the profile of the stage, it is going to be a tough day um, for the non climbers. Um, we're going to have our team obviously at the front, as always, and um, I'm going to show you the GC with Miguel and Lopez leading from Christopher Froome and Peyo Bilbao. Incredible climb yesterday in Valter 2000 with um, the win uh, of Superman. I think Peyo got third, or yeah, he did get third. Um, yeah, honestly, brilliant stage, and um, I really enjoyed it. I didn't think I would, because I'm not a big fan of the Volta Catalunya, but yeah, it was quite nice, and hopefully, I can have the same uh, amount of um, I don't know, uh, the, the same fucking English. Uh, I can be at least as good. There you go. That will, that'll do. Um, but yeah, for now, in first position, Lopez, Froome, then Bilbao, Bardet, Martin, Simon Yates, Richie Port, Wilco Calderman, Nero Quintana, and Steven Kloivike, uh is your top 10. Um, yeah, we've got two jerseys, if I'm correct. Uh, te well, technically three. We've got the time jersey, obviously, with Miguel Angel Lopez. Uh, we've got the points jersey with Peyo Bilbao. Mountain is um, held by Maritz Lamertank, and he's going to try to go in the break. The best young rider is Miguel Angel Lopez, and finally, the best team is ourselves. Um, there's a breakaway. With 10 riders, you've got P uh, Peter Vakoc, um, Gonsalves, Lucas Ogian, Cerny. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name, but of the like the first names, but I can't remember it, so we'll have to do with that. But Ravazzi, Amel Monar, Jesus Serrada, um, Hugh Carthy. Maritz Lemertank, the Polka Dot jersey, Bjorn Lambrecht, and Tanel Kangert. Following is, um, well, our uh, Zoidal and uh, Andre Zeitz. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go in the break. I, I don't think I will, to be uh, blatantly honest. Well, actually, is the Peloton letting us go? Bargill is attacking. Why is this why is this break away? It's it's just a Volta Catalunya and everyone's attacking. I don't get it. Okay, well, um, we're gonna see if we can have a gap, and uh, if not, I'll see you later in the stage. Um, hopefully for, with Zeitz for a KOM. Right, 700 meters to go until the climb. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna get anything. Um, Zeitz is going to explode. The pedal, like the rhythm in the break has been so intense. Uh, it, it's not even funny. It's Amel Monar who's going to take 16 points, uh, or maybe even more, I don't know. Herida, Van Endert, um, yeah, we're, we're out of yellow and red, so I'm, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't sound good for, for Andre Zeitz. Even the, the peloton is, is mad. Miguel Angel Lopez is here. Peyo Bilbao is quite well placed as well. But uh, I'm quite scared we're not going to make it. Um, so yeah, in the meantime... We're in the group alongside Moritz Lamertink and uh, Ricardo Villela. We're gonna wait, uh, wait and see, see if we can get in yellow, and if we can, uh, see if we can stay in the group. Right, this stage is mad. Um, we were like three minutes ahead at the f at the bottom of the climb, and the rhythm in the peloton has been in so high. Like Bilbao got dropped. Um, I managed to put him back in. But yeah, it's I don't understand why is this peloton so like quick. Um, Tanel Kangert is the uh, only remain uh, only cyclist remainer 
Reminder, remain the only cyclist who remains um, from the initial break. Zeitz is not going to make anything in this group. Um, and the rhythm, as I said, just keeps on being like immense. And yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's weird. Um, I've only got Bilbao and Lopez and him, uh, left. Villel is out. Uh, Zeitz is soon to be out. And it just doesn't doesn't sound good for us at all right now. All right, uh, 36 kilometers to go. We're five kilometers away from the summit. Um, we just got um, Tanel Kangert, I think. I'm pretty sure he just got overtaken and maybe dropped by the peloton. Uh, is he still in there? He is. He's still in there. But we've attacked with Andre Zeitz. Um, he had some time to recover in the peloton. And I'm just going to send him in the break. Um, if you can take some points again, that'd be honestly ideal um, for his quest to get the uh, leader of the mountain classification jersey. It's not going to be an easy task at all, um, considering well the gap. But yeah, we're for now solid. We've got nearly two minutes. Peloton has completely stopped, so that's just all good for us. Um, now I'm pretty sure someone like. Yeah, Tanel Kangat is staying within the peloton, which just shows that the rhythm isn't high enough um, to like do something. Um, 1.6k, and Andre Zeitz is most likely going to be first at the summit of La Molina uh, for the first time, at least uh, on this stage. Three minutes though, like he he's he's got a lead. Technically, if we're talking, uh, if we're going on a basis of losing one minute per kilometer, uh, I'm nearly winning. So that's still something to get, at least, I guess. Uh, Morabito is now taking things um, under his command in the peloton. There's an attack that's probably released under Morisa, it is, um, to get some points for the GC, uh, sorry, for the mountain classification. Uh, let's see, Lamotanks first, Monar, Iking, Lopez, Morisa, and Zeitz. Okay, so Miguel Angel Lopez is actually First. Okay, that's good to know. Well, that, I mean, first for my team. Okay, that's something I need to remember. That okay. Maybe I'll try something with Miguel Angel Lopez later in the in the tour. But for now, we're in the descent uh, towards the second attempt uh, of this climb. 317 is the lead over a peloton, still led by the uh, Swiss champion Steve Morabito. Um, maybe I'll be able to get a win with Andre Dice. You know what? Who knows? It's not going to be an easy task at all, uh, but I'm, I'm willing to like gamble on it. And even if we don't win it with him, we've got Miguel Andre Lopez behind, uh, ready to uh, to do what he does the best. Uh, we've, we've got an incident in the peloton. Bilbao and Villela have fallen. There's been a massive fall. Frum is in it. Valverde is in it. Miguel Andre Lopez hasn't been co-op in the incident, which is all good. He's here with Enric Mas and Wilco Calderman. Um... I mean, I'm going to guess this group is going to slow down. Uh, I'm not going to pace, obviously, because I've got Peyo behind. Um, however, we're going to we're gonna stick to like the group uh, with Peyo here. Because the rhythm of Egan Bernal... Uh, it's not Egan Bernal. The rhythm of whoever is going to be leading the peloton for Team Sky uh, is definitely a, ry a rhythm I want to, to be on. I've been dropped. I've been dropped with Lopez. There's been an attack. Kelderman is gone. With Enric Mas, I can't really wait for Peyo Bilbao now, can I? Miguel Angel Lopez is going to have to do the work. Okay, this race is... Well, this stage is not going as planned. Um, let's see if I can come back on the week of Um First of all, Peyo, you're going to have to do whatever it takes to reach the front of this group and not lose too much time. Uh, in the meantime, Miguel Angel Lopez is going to join the leaders group. Um, Zeiss is, I've used my gel for fuck's sake. Okay, we've got a minute. We're going to attack with, on a, with Lopez. There you go. I can't rely on Andrew Zeiss anymore at the front. So there's no real need of me uh, well, not pacing. Um, can I give everything I've got with Andrew Zeiss? And he's out. And that's going to be Miguel Angel Lopez going for another win 
on this tour. Bilbao is still here, but he's lacking yellow. Villela is out. Right, who's pacing? That should be Yates. Yeah, it is. Andre uh, Zaitz. Oh, yeah, I mean, Andre Zaitz is, has been co op by another group. That's not what I meant, but it'll, it'll do. Bernal is here. Balde, Froome, Quintana, Yates, all of the best. The All the better riders are here. And all the best riders are here. That, yeah. And Peyo is here. He's going to fight. He's going to fight f until he's got nothing left. And that's soon. Okay. Four kilometers until the summit for Miguel Angel Lopez. He's still a minute 20 ahead of uh, of the group Bilbao. That's what we're going to call it. Or the group Froome, who's now uh, leading the charge. Um, if Bilbao could hold on at this rhythm, there's still a chance to like make it with the best. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping for. Because Miguel Angel Lopez is on the final slopes of La Molina. Alright, so, uh, so is this group. We're going to launch a sprint with Miguel Angel Lopez. We're going to do as much as we can to uh, salvage some seconds. There we go, it's a win for Miguel Angel Lopez. Second position will be for uh, not me. It's going to be Enric Mas. Yeah, Enric Mas will take second place. Kelderman. Dan Martin, Neri Quintana, Thibaut Pino, Chris Froome, Valverde, Kroivike, Yates, and Peyo Bilbao, who is going to manage to keep, I think, um, oh, actually, wait, Bard is here, Dan Martin's here, that's a tough call, um, that's going to be a very tough call, but I might be able, there's 30 seconds, the gap is 30 seconds between Dan Martin and Peyo Bilbao, GC-wise, I don't know how, P how PCM is going to take that gap. Um, if I'm lucky enough, maybe they'll give me less than 30 seconds, which would mean Peyo Bilbao will stay in third position. Um, actually, now I'm trying shit, because there's Kelderman. I forgot about him. There's Kelderman. So, yeah, e either way, I I'm fucked. Um, Alright, I'll, I'll see you on the podiums um, after this second win of Miguel Angel Lopez. Whoa win by Miguel Angel Lopez um, on his own at the bottom of the climb and by on his own I mean he was definitely on his own uh, and he just managed to get Mass and Kelderman back and to overtake them um, to get this incredible win in La Molina um, which is going to consolidate his lead uh, for the GC. Froome is second, Kelderman is third, Dan Martin is fourth so he overtook for two seconds Peyo Bilbao. Quintana, Yates, Bardé, Mass, and Krovac uh, complete the top 10 uh, after this uh, this Queen stage. We're going to see the points classification. Nope. Uh, we're going to see the mountain classification with Maurice Lamerting still leading the way. But with Miguel Andre Lopez only 6 points now um, behind the, um, the rider for Rumport Char Charles. Amel Moinard is in 3rd. Andre Zeit is in 6th position. Um, solid days. Um, solid day, sorry, for, uh, for us here. Peyo Bilbao is going to keep the uh, Mayo de Oro with a, a, an 11 points lead over Miguel Angel Lopez, who's now second. Dan Martin is third. Best young rider is obviously going to be Miguel Angel Lopez, that can't change. Best team is still Astana, uh, with again two minutes nearly on Movistar. So that's all good. But yeah, um, very interesting stage. Uh, I, like, the fall completely changed everything I had in mind. Um, and I mean it gave me the win to be fully honest the fact that I was with Kelderman and Enric Mass it just yeah it was good it, it feels good to win to be honest um, but we're going to take a third win in a row on this Volta Ciclista Catalunya with Astana um, I don't know if we'll be able to make it four but it's this stage it's going to be hard it's not going to be easy we'll, we'll try to make it four in a row but if you want to see that Please uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, just massive thank you. We just uh, went past 300 subs uh, like yesterday or two days ago. I can't express how grateful I am uh, to know that like 300 people are watching my videos. It just warms my heart. And honestly, thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, consider giving it a like. 
uh, comment. Well, I'm, I'm lost in my head. Um, <laughs> comment is that, is that. Oh my god. Comment if there's anything you want to say. Um, and yeah, as I said, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell uh, to get notifications of my uploads. I've been Blackwall. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys, and goodbye.